Welcome to Structure, the integrated low-code development and runtime environment that's built with native graph database technology. Structure's native graph core is unique among low-code development environments and makes it faster and more flexible than other platforms. Working with Structure provides developers and business leaders with many benefits. You can build enterprise web applications many times faster than with other environments and run them directly in the same environment or in the cloud. Structure's low-code capabilities allow users without extensive development skills to create simple applications, while experienced developers can create sophisticated, state-of-the-art enterprise solutions. Its attractive and intuitive user interface is fun to use and makes it easy to be creative. Structure has a robust back-end centered around the data model that you create. Build a powerful data model using extensible built-in data types from Structure's library and map their relationships. The data model sits atop Structure's native graph database and can be easily queried. Structure automatically creates API endpoints, including open API documentation for each element of the data model. You can manage access to your resources and build upon the API with custom methods. Manage your application data in an intuitive data management tool. Add, modify, and delete data, create views, and write functions for your data. You can also import data from an existing CSV file. Create, preview, and customize dynamic and interactive web pages with Structure's Page Creator, where you can write HTML pages from scratch or import a page template from online. Map your data model to your web pages. And much more! Structure's integrated environment is designed to handle every component of your application. The key to Structure's superior application development environment is its native graph architecture core, which is central to Structure's approach to software development. Not only does Structure store your application data in a graph, but the entire definition of the software application itself is also stored in a graph. Traditional file-based representation is replaced by graph-based representation of the application's components. This enables real-time development and runtime processing allowing for rapid iteration that can cut development time from weeks to days. At the end of this video, we'll show you how to get started with Structure easily by setting up a personal sandbox. But first, let's take a deeper dive into developing in the Structure environment. An application built with Structure contains a data model, a user interface, and processes that implement the application's business logic. You build dynamic HTML pages, data objects and their relationships, and object methods and flows to control their processes. Meanwhile, Structure provides data access through REST API endpoints, a file system, authentication and access control, and a comprehensive scripting library. The scripting library allows you to implement business logic and control data and page elements. Finally, Structure comes with security and maintenance features. Now, we'll demonstrate some of the main components of developing in Structure. We start with a data model for a project management application we want to create. It contains a project data type that extends the abstract node base data type, one of many extensible data types provided. Project has direct properties such as name, description, and owner. To add, say, a department property, we simply add a new direct property, and Structure updates the data model. Project also has linked properties such as task and milestone, which are other data types that have been connected to the project data type. Their relationships are represented as project has task and project has milestone. Let's say we want to create a customer object that we can then link to projects. We create the customer data type and draw a line from customer to project to create the relationship. Then we set the relationship to be directional and one-to-many, where each customer can have multiple projects. Here, we can also create custom views of projects based on their attributes and call them as needed. For instance, we can create a view called Admin that retrieves the fields Hidden, Base, Type, Grantees, and other inherited properties. Later, we can set that view to display for users who have an administrator role and are allowed to see certain fields that should not be visible to regular users. 
Developers can also write methods to create business logic around the data model in the Methods tab of the Schema UI. The data model also has built-in support for type validation, uniqueness, non-null constraints, numeric ranges, string validation using regular expressions, and much more. Now that we have our data model, we can add data records. To create a new instance of the project data model, go into the Data tab and create a new record or import data from a CSV file with your project data. When we add a task to a project, Structure automatically creates an instance of the Project Has Task task data type that stores the relationship between project and task data types. As we build our application, Structure automatically updates the API definition for easy access to our data. Access points are automatically created based on the data model and allow for creating, reading, updating, and deleting either single objects or a list of objects identified by their universally unique identifier, or UUID. The API endpoints also allow creation and deletion of an object structure. API calls use the format structure, rest, followed by the data type. For example, to access the project data type, the path is structure, rest, project. To create a new project using the API, use the post method with the path structure, rest, project. The same path can create multiple objects if we input a list of projects in the request body. To implement access to business logic through our API, we must create business logic endpoints that will call methods. The methods they call can be global, static, or instance methods. For example, we can create an instance method called send project report for your project data type that uses the reporting features in Structure to send a status report for an individual project to the owner of that project. To call this method using a POST request, we must include the project's unique ID as a path variable and use the path Structure, REST, Project, Project UUID, method name. If we are calling a static method for a data type, a unique ID or other path parameter is not required. For instance, the static method find overdue projects returns data for all active projects that are overdue. Because this method does not query an individual project, no UUID is required in the path. Instead, the post request follows the path structure, rest, project, method name. Structure has a built-in open API endpoint available at the path structure, open API, relative to the application's base URL. This open API endpoint can be used with any open API client, such as Swagger, which is also integrated into the code area. To make a resource accessible, each data type and method must be added manually to the open API. In the Schema Manager, select a data type and add an open API tag for it. For instance, under the Project data type, add a Project tag under the Open API section along with its summary and description. This open API output generates documentation for every API call that falls under the project data type. To add any API endpoints for custom methods we have written to the open API, we must opt in each method manually. Locate the method in the schema manager under its data type and select the API option above tags. The method then appears in the open API output along with the automatically created endpoints. We can now map our data to our HTML pages. Thanks to the advantages of Structure's Graph Database Core, dynamic HTML pages are rendered in milliseconds, even with custom or user data that cannot be stored in a cache. Because Structure is a fully integrated and modular environment, it's easy to add and modify an application. You can rapidly create new features and make the application as simple or complex as needed. With Structure, you can begin with a simple application and build upon it without having to redesign it or worry about breaking dependencies in the existing code. Development is flexible and flows freely as Structure automatically handles the back-end integration while you build. Although Structure is flexible and robust enough to build any kind of application, some tasks are particularly suited to structure, including recommendation engines, social networking, 
real-time applications, and any app that works with network-shaped data or growing data that has network-shaped characteristics. Graph databases offer a huge performance gain in lookup time and confer an advantage to read-heavy applications. They are thus ideal for any application that uses associative datasets, network data, or other connected data and datasets with complex or deep relationships. Structure maintains extensive searchable reference documentation at structure.com, covering basic and advanced topics as well as guides and tutorials. Live 24-7 support is also available for Structure customers with a support contract. Check out Structure's Google Group for more information and follow Structure on YouTube and Twitter for updates or simply start building your new application right away. It's easy to get started developing with Structure. Start your own personal sandbox by signing up from Structure.com or click the download link and get a free version of Structure. Start developing with Structure and see how much you can do.